Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So as I was scrolling through Netflix, I've been seeing this suggestion of this movie that I've never seen before. It's called The Witch Part 1 Subversion. And this movie was actually released back in 2018. And originally, I thought it was a horror movie. Now, I myself, I'm not a big fan of horror movies, so I never decided to watch it. But I did decide to watch it one day and wow, this is definitely not a horror movie. But it's something else that I really feel that you should check out. And so this entire story is basically a combination of X-Men, but a really dark version, and Battle Royale. If you've ever seen that, that is an ultra-violent Japanese movie, which was adapted from a manga anime series. And so that's kind of what you have here. And our main character here is Ja Yoon, uh, played by Kim Da Ni. And also another main character called Choi Woo Sik, who plays this guy named uh, the Nobleman, or he's actually referred to as the Nobleman. And Choi Woo Sik is actually from the movie Parasite. And so that's somebody that you would definitely be familiar with if you've actually seen that movie and other movies that he's been in. And so the general story is there's this group of children who were basically mutants in a lot of ways, but they're also engineered for one main purpose, and that is killing. They are like the perfect killing machines and they have a lot of special attributes that normal people do not have. Hence this whole X-Men uh, thing that I think you could relate with once you watch a movie. So they're basically superhuman. That's what they are. And so the general story is uh, Ja Yoon, she actually escapes from this when she's younger. And then later on, this organization finds her again. And obviously, they send people to come get her. And that's the very simple premise of it. Now, getting into things that I absolutely love about this film is the action. Man, um, there's like two hours and five minutes. But whenever the action comes, which is like basically midway through the movie, it is just brutal. Um, it's just very interesting. And overall, it's just awesome action. The stuff that they do here, it's really what I enjoy. I enjoy action movies anyway, but I also enjoy fantasy, sci-fi, comic book movies. So this combines all of that. So if you can imagine an X-Men movie, but with a lot of violence, you know, with a lot of bloody gore, then that's what you're going to get here. And man, it was just so satisfying, every action scene that they have here. And all the action that was shot, it was very well done. I could see what's going on. But at the same time, it's just really cool. So you, if you enjoy just straight up action, but mixed with sci-fi and fantasy, then you would definitely, definitely enjoy that. So that's probably the best thing about this movie. I enjoyed it. And then the other thing that I enjoyed is this whole kind of like world that they built here. Now you have seen this before, you know, where you have these people or group of people who have these special abilities. Um, and obviously it's owned by a much bigger corporation. But I really feel the way in which it was told, especially with our main character, Ja Yoon, I found it very interesting, you know, and the fact that this is told in a very violent manner, uh, you don't get a lot of that filtering that you would get if it was more like a PG-13 movie. And so the characters here, they were able to, you know, go all out, you know, and it really serves the story. And as you're watching this, you know, Ja Yoon, she changes, you know, over time or maybe your perception of her change. And there were some twists and turns there that I didn't really see coming. Uh, but when they did, it really changed uh, how I thought about Ja Yoon and some of the other characters as well. And then another thing that I enjoyed about it is, is the fact that even though this is not a comic book movie per se, it has a lot of those elements where you see these characters and their powers, you know, and kind of, you know, how they use them in this really brutal world that they have. And because of the fact that this is an R-rated movie where they could show as much, you know, violence up to a certain point as they can, you don't really get that filtering uh, or limits that you see whenever you're watching like a PG-13 comic book movie. And at the same time, these characters are not good. You know, basically, there's, there's really like this dark side of them. There's not really a good and a bad guy, you know, or bad people. You know, they're just really dark people, you know. And so that is something that I really appreciated. And whenever you start to see these characters, especially Ja Yoon developing who they really are or who they might be, um, then that's something that I found really interesting because it, then it really helps to build and uh, support 
uh, this entire world of this very dark, gritty, violent world. And you kind of see why that they are the way they are, not just because they have these powers, but the world that they live in, it kind of requires it. And so that is another thing that I enjoyed. And so that's overall my thoughts on the best parts of The Witch, uh, part one subversion. There is just a lot of action. I love the fact that they combine this fantasy element uh, along with the whole comic book field. And at the same time, it being ultraviolet and having an R rating, it really helps serve the characters and the story. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now getting to the thing that I didn't like about this movie is even though Ja Yoon I think is the most interesting part about the whole movie and I like how she progresses and changes, that point where you see her change, that could be a good thing, which I think it is. It was clever in my opinion, but I think for some people it might be a negative thing because it kind of like you know, basically takes away anything that she was before, you know, where the movie spends a lot of time building her up, especially her relationship with her parents. And then whenever this event happens, this switch happens, it's like she's a completely different person, at least from what you knew. Um, even though I think it was done for a specific reason, it kind of helps tell the whole story. And you get a lot of exposition at that point as well. And you'll kind of see what I mean. But other than that, I really feel The Witch wants a version. It is a very enjoyable movie. Awesome, awesome action. Uh, the overall mixture of fantasy, violence, and this whole comic book superhero feel, I really enjoyed myself. And at the same time, I think there is a lot of story that's yet to be told in this world. And so hopefully uh, they'll be able to come out with a sequel later on and we get a lot more of this world. And so if you actually have seen this and you had any thoughts on the which one, uh, subversion, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you want to see any of my other Korean film or show reviews, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Goal Content Creators Group.